what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we're getting ready to throw some color on the project Serato. uh over here on the roof i just have a um, heat lamp just to warm up the paint um, the panel uh just a little bit i also did that with the paint just to warm it up today was just a little bit fresh morning not that bad it wasn't cold but it was just you know a little fresh uh so just heating it up uh, the primer is already sanded down just a little bit, um, just to scuff real light. And um, yeah, I already have the paint. Just gonna um, get some stuff ready and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get started on the roof today and then I'll leave it like a day or two and then I'll paint the rest. That way, you know, I don't, I'm not risking touching the fresh paint, you know, with my shirt, the spray gun hose, my whatever. So I'm just gonna paint the roof, and then after that, let it dry, and then we'll come back to the body. And this right here is the paint that I'm going to be using today. This I found on eBay. I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, so this was around $120, I'd say, uh, for a gallon kit, which comes with a gallon of single stage paint with the reducer of your choice and the hardener. So this one is gunmetal gray metallic. Right here on the side, it tells you how to mix. It says mix eight parts paint, one part hardener, and one to two parts reducer, uh, depending on how thin you'd like to spray it. Uh, so eight parts paint, one part uh, the hardener, and then one to two parts of reducer right here. So let me show you guys the color real quick. Here it is. I'll get a mixing stick. Right before you open the can, you wanna make sure you shake the can really well. And after you open it, you wanna make sure you stir it. Uh, make sure you scrape the bottom of the can because sometimes the metallic stays uh, behind. So here's the paint. And one more thing, uh, once you reduce your mix, uh, you're gonna get some strainers and uh, just filter out the paint before you spray uh, throw it in the gun so that's it this is the color we're gonna be spraying today so hope you guys enjoy the video
Alright guys, here's the roof. I did uh, three coats. I think I recorded the first and second and after that I was standing over there on, on the bed just uh, spraying the backside and I just did like a um, control coat over everything. Um, the paint did c come out a little bit um, like ripply, like wavy. Like we do have, uh, it's like orange peel. Um, but this can easily be sanded down. Um, you see the whole paint, it has a little bit of a texture on the paint. So, I mean, I can sand that down. The reason that, that it came out like that was because I was uh, basically like dry spraying. Um, not necessarily dry, like I just kept the, the pass, just kept on going back and forth. And the reason I was doing that is because uh, this paint is pretty transparent. It's basically almost like clear with like the metallic on it. And um, if you try to do wet pads, you'll see the lines going, uh, you know, like across the, the, the roof. So instead I did a like distance, a little bit more, and I just kept on going back and forth until I got everything, you know, wet eventually. Uh, but this is the, you know, the, the surface, how it came out. Like I said, I prefer sanding this. Uh, if, even if I turn on my flashlight, all the metallic, you know, came out evenly, like, dispersed or, you know, however you'd like to call it. But everything looks even. There's no, like, dark, dark spots, like, anywhere on the roof. And, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. This was, uh, three coats with that kind of gray metallic. Um... Uh, the, the color, I mean, it looks pretty close to the original color that, you know, used to be on this truck, so there's a few of the metallic right there, but yeah, the color, almost close to the original color, which was almost what we we're aiming for, like just uh, not exactly like by the code, but a color t that just looked about the same, so here it is, this is the gunmetal gray. Um, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna let that dry, and um, later in like a, in a few days, like two more days, I'm gonna give it. I'll come back on the weekend, and I'll just cover the top, and we'll go ahead and paint on the sides. Like I said, the reason I do the roof only is because it's such a big truck, and if I'm gonna be spraying a coat on top and then a coat on the sides. And then coming back on a second coat, like you have a risk of, look at all those shoe marks right there on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just little precautions like that that we're just trying to avoid. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna edit this video, show it to you guys, and then we'll come back in a few days and we'll just paint the rest of the truck. We'll see how everything is. And uh, yep, yeah, we'll see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.